The Sultanate of Bengal, also known as the Bengal Sultanate, Bangala Persian, Bengal Bangala, Bengali, Bangala Bangala and Shahi Bangala Persian, Shahi Bengal Shahi Bangala, Bengali, Sahi Bangala was a Muslim dynasty of mainly Turkic origin, established in Bengal during the 14th century as part of the Muslim conquest of the Indian subcontinent. It was the first independent unified Bengali kingdom under Muslim rule. The region became widely known as Bangala and Bengala under this kingdom. The two terms are precursors to the modern terms Bangla and Bengal. The kingdom was formed after governors of the Delhi Sultanate declared independence in the region. Shamsuddin Ilyas Shah united the region's states into a single government headed by an imperial sultan. The kingdom was ruled by five dynasties. At the height of its territorial empire, the kingdom ruled over areas in eastern South Asia and Southeast Asia. It re-established diplomatic relations between China and the Indian subcontinent. It permitted the creation of the Portuguese settlement in Chittagong, the first European enclave in Bengal. The kingdom looked west for cultural inspiration, particularly from Persianate cultures. Its rulers sponsored the construction of colleges in Mecca and Medina, which host the holiest sites of Islam. Literature was fostered in Persian and Bengali, with strong Sufi influences. Bengali architecture evolved significantly during this period, with several external influences. The kingdom had an influential Hindu minority, which included aristocrats, military officers and bureaucrats. It assisted the Buddhist king of Arakan to regain control of his country from the Burmese. The kingdom began to disintegrate in the 16th century, in the aftermath of Sher Shah Suri's conquests. The Mughal Empire began to absorb Bengal under its first emperor, Babur. The second Mughal emperor Humayun occupied the Bengali capital of Ghor. In 1576, the armed forces of Emperor Akbar defeated the last reigning sultan, Dod Khan Karani. The region later became Mughal Bengal. History The Delhi Sultanate lost its hold over Bengal in 1338 when separatist states were established by governors, including Fakhruddin Mubarak Shah in Sonargaon, Aladdin Ali Shah in Lucknow T and Shamsuddin Ilyas Shah in Satgaon. In 1352, Ilyas Shah defeated the rulers of Sonargaon and Lucknow T and united the Bengal region into an independent kingdom. He founded the Turkic Ilyas Shahi dynasty which ruled Bengal until 1490. During this time, much of the agricultural land was controlled by Hindu zamindars, which caused tensions with Muslim talukters. The Ilyas Shahi rule was challenged by Raja Ganesha, a powerful Hindu landowner, who briefly managed to place his son, Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah, on the throne in the early 15th century, before the Ilyas Shahi dynasty was restored in 1432. The late 1480s saw four usurper sultans from the mercenary corps. Tensions between different Muslim communities often affected the kingdom. After a period of instability, Aladdin Hussein Shah gained control of Bengal in 1494 when he was prime minister. As Sultan, Hussein Shah ruled till 1519. The dynasty he founded reigned till 1538. Muslims and Hindus jointly served in the royal administration during the Hussein Shahi dynasty. This era is often regarded as a golden age of the Bengal Sultanate, in which Bengali territory included areas of Arakan, Orissa, Tripura and Assam. The Sultanate gave permission for establishing the Portuguese settlement in Chittagong. Sher Shah Suri conquered Bengal in the 16th century, during which he renovated the Grand Trunk Road. After conquering Bengal, Sher Shah Suri proceeded to Agra. The absorption of Bengal into the Mughal Empire was a gradual process beginning with the defeat of Bengali forces under Sultan Nasiruddin Nasrat Shah by Babur at the Battle of Gagra and ending with the Battle of Raj Mahal where the Pashtun Karani dynasty, the last reigning sultans of Bengal, were defeated. Governance <inaudible> 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 The Bengal Sultanate was an absolute monarchy. The Ilyas Shahi dynasty promoted a Persianate society. It copied the pre-Muslim Persian tradition of monarchy and statecraft. The courts of the capital cities sanctified the Sultan, used Persianized royal paraphernalia, adopted an elaborate court ceremony modeled on the Sasanian imperial paradigm, employed a hierarchical bureaucracy, and promoted Islam as the state religion. The rise of Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah saw more native elements inducted in the courts. 
The Hussain Shahi dynasty employed many Hindus in the government and promoted a form of religious pluralism. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Military. Military strength was the existential basis of medieval kingdoms in Bengal and other parts of India. The sultans had a well-organized army, including cavalry, artillery, infantry and war elephants, and a navy. Due to the riverine geography and climate, it was not feasible to use cavalry throughout the year in Bengal. The cavalry was probably the weakest component of the Bengal Sultanate's army, as the horses had to be imported from foreign countries. The artillery was an important section. Portuguese historian João de Bajos opined that the military supremacy of Bengal over Arakan and Tripura was due to its efficient artillery. The artillery used cannons and guns of various sizes, the pakes formed the vital part of the Bengal infantry during this period. There were occasions when the pakes also tackled political situations. The particular battle array of the foot soldiers who used bows, arrows and guns attracted the attention of Babur. War elephants played an important part in the Bengal army. Apart from carrying war materials, elephants were also used for the movement of the armed personnel. In riverine Bengal the usefulness of elephants, though very slow, could not be minimized. The navy was of prime necessity in riverine Bengal. In fact, the cavalry could ensure the hold over this country for a period of six months whereas the boats backed by the pakes could command supremacy over the other half of the year. Since the time of Iwaz Khalji, who first organized a naval force in Islamic Bengal, the war boats played an important role in the political affairs of the country. The chief of the admiralty had various responsibilities, including shipbuilding, river transport, to fit out strong boats for transporting war elephants, to recruit seamen, to patrol the rivers and to collect tolls at ghats. The efficiency of the navy eroded during the Hussein Shahi dynasty. The sultans also built forts, including temporary mud-walled forts. Economy <inaudible> 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 When Muslim rule was established, Bengal was rich in gold and silver from the pre-Islamic period. A new political economy was established by the sultans. The taka was introduced as the standard currency of Bengal. The new currency consolidated the legitimacy of the sultanate. A salaried bureaucracy was established. Provincial autonomy manifested in governors and zamindars being allowed to retain shares of land revenue to maintain their own armed forces. During his two visits to the Sultanate, Ibn Battuta described Bengal as a vibrant fertile land overflowing with agricultural commodities. Most of its people were agricultural laborers and textile weavers. The Chinese traveler Ma Huan noted its large shipbuilding industry. Bengali traders were found in Malacca at the time of the Sultanate. Shell currency was widely used in the Sultanate and imported from the Sultanate of the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. The Maldives received abundant rice supplies in exchange for its cowrie shells. 23. During the early part of its reign, the Sultanate had a strong trade network with the Horn of Africa, including the Ajaran Sultanate and Ethiopia. Abyssinians were imported through the port of Chittagong. An African giraffe imported by the Bengali Sultan was gifted to the Chinese Emperor. The Grand Trunk Road connected the Bengali heartland with Kabul. Besides its handlooms in silk and cotton muslin, the region exported grain, salt, fruit, liquors, and wines, precious metals, and ornaments. During the reopening of European trade with the East Indies following the Portuguese conquests of Malacca and Goa, Bengal was identified by European traders as the richest country to trade with. Topic. Currency and mint towns The taka was the currency of the Bengal Sultanate. Locations hosting a mint also served as provincial capitals, known as mint towns. The following includes a partial listing of mint towns in the Bengal Sultanate. Topic. Trade The only eastern political and economic pole of Islamic India was Bengal. Like the Gujarat Sultanate, it was open to the sea and accumulated profits from trade with agricultural incomes. Traders from around the world were present in the Bay of Bengal area, which included the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta and the Irrawaddy Delta. Bengal's position as a major cotton textile exporter was unique in Islamic India. Topic. 
Immigration Bengal was a melting pot under the Sultanate. It received settlers from North India, the Middle East and Central Asia. They included Turks, Afghans, Persians and Arabs. An important migrant community were Persians. Many Persians in Bengal were teachers, lawyers, scholars and clerics. Mercenaries were widely imported for domestic, military and political service. Diplomatic relations China Political relations between China and the Indian subcontinent became non-existent after the decline of Buddhism in India. In the 15th century, the Bengal Sultanate revived the subcontinent's relations with China for the first time in centuries. Sultan Giyasuddin Azam Shah began sending envoys to the Ming dynasty. He sent ambassadors in 1405, 1408 and 1409. Emperor Yongle of China responded by sending ambassadors to Bengal between 1405 and 1433, including members of the Treasure Voyages fleet led by Admiral Zheng He. The exchange of embassies included the gift of an East African giraffe by Sultan Shahabuddin Bayezid Shah to the Chinese Emperor in 1414. China also mediated an end to the Bengal Janpur War after a request from Sultan Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah. Topic: <inaudible> Portugal. Following Vasco da Gama's landing in southern India, Portuguese traders from Malacca, Ceylon and Bombay began traversing the sea routes of the Bay of Bengal. In the early 16th century, Bengal received official Portuguese envoys. Permission was given for the establishment of the Portuguese settlement in Chittagong. Topic: <inaudible> Egypt. There are records of diplomatic relations between Sultan Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah and Sultan Ashraf Barsbay of Mamluk Egypt. The latter sent the Bengali Sultan a robe of honour and a letter of recognition. Africa There are records of envoys from the East African city-state of Malindi being hosted in the Bengali court. Animals constituted a significant part of tributes in medieval courts. The East African envoys brought giraffes, which were noticed by Chinese envoys. Herat There are records of contacts between Sultan Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah and Sultan Sharuk Mirza, the Timurid ruler of Herat. Janpur Sultan Giyasuddin Azam began sending envoys to the neighboring Janpur Sultanate. He sent elephants as gifts to Sultan Kaja Jahan. The two kingdoms fought a war between 1415 and 1420. The end of the war brought a long period of peace between the neighboring states. In 1494, Sultan Hussein Shah Sharki of Janpur took refuge in Bengal. Contribution to Mecca and Medina Sultan Giyasuddin Azam sponsored the construction of madrasas Islamic theological schools in Mecca and Medina. The schools became known as the Giyasia Madrasa and Banjalia Madrasa. Taqiyuddin Fassi, a contemporary Arab historian, was a teacher at the madrasa in Mecca. The madrasa in Medina was built at a place called Husn al-Atiq near the Prophet's Mosque. Several other Bengali sultans also sponsored madrasas in Mecca and Medina, including Sultan Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah. Travelers The kingdom was visited by noblemen from city-states such as the Venetian Republic, including Niccolò de Conti, Caesar Frederick and Ludovico di Varthima. Literature Muslim poets were writing in the Bengali language by the 15th century. 
By the turn of the 16th century, a vernacular literature based on concepts of Sufism and Islamic cosmology flourished in the region. Bengali Muslim mystic literature was one of the most original in Islamic India. And with the three washers cups of wine, this dispute is going on. All the parrots poets of India have fallen into a sugar-shattering situation become excited that this Persian candy ode, to Bangala Bengal is going on. An excerpt of a poem jointly penned by Hafez and Sultan Giyasuddin Azam Shah in the 14th century. With Persian as an official language, Bengal witnessed an influx of Persian scholars, lawyers, teachers and clerics. It was the preferred language of the aristocracy and the Sufis. Thousands of Persian books and manuscripts were published in Bengal. The earliest Persian work compiled in Bengal was a translation of Amritakunda from Sanskrit by Qadi Rukanu Din Abu Hamid Muhammad bin Muhammad al Amidi of Samarkand, a famous Hanafi jurist and Sufi. During the reign of Giyasuddin Azam Shah, the city of Sonargan became an important center of Persian literature, with many publications of prose and poetry. The period is described as the Golden Age of Persian Literature in Bengal. Its stature is illustrated by the Sultan's own correspondence with the Persian poet Hafez. When the Sultan invited Hafez to complete an incomplete ghazal by the ruler, the renowned poet responded by acknowledging the grandeur of the king's court and the literary quality of Bengali Persian poetry. In the 15th century, the Sufi poet Nur Qutb Alam pioneered Bengali Muslim poetry by establishing the Rikta tradition, which saw poems written half in Persian and half in colloquial Bengali. The invocation tradition saw Islamic figures replacing the invocation of Hindu gods and goddesses in Bengali texts. The literary Romantic tradition saw poems by Shah Muhammad Sagir on Yusuf and Zulaika, as well as works of Bahram Khan and Sabirid Khan. The Dobashi culture featured the use of Arabic and Persian words in Bengali texts to illustrate Muslim conquests. Epic poetry included Nabibangsha by Syed Sultan, Janganama by Abdul Hakim and Rasul Bijay by Shah Barad. Sufi literature flourished with a dominant theme of cosmology. Bengali Muslim writers produced translations of numerous Arabic and Persian works, including The Thousand and One Nights and the Shahnameh. Architecture <laughs> 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 The large number of mosques built during the Bengal Sultanate indicates the rapidity with which the local population converted to Islam. The period between 1450 and 1550 was an intensive mosque building era. These mosques dotted the countryside, ranged from small to medium sizes and were used for daily devotion. Most mosques were either of rectangular or square shape. The rectangular building without an enclosed courtyard became a popular type for both large and medium sized mosques. Bengali mosques would be covered several small domes. Other features of Bengali mosques would include corner towers, curved roofs, multiple mirabs, pointed arches and in some cases, a dome in the shape of a hut's roof. Bengali mosques had a conspicuous absence of minarets. Ponds were often located beside a mosque. Arabic inscriptions in the mosques often include the name of the patron or builder. The most commonly cited verse from the Quran in inscriptions was Surah 72, al jinn a glimpse of houses in the Bengal Sultanate can be seen in the Iskander Nama Tale of Alexander published by Sultan Nasiruddin Nasrat Shah, the buildings were made of brick. The brick mosque with terracotta decoration represented a grand structure in the Bengal Sultanate. They were often the gift of a wealthy patron and the fruit of extraordinary effort, which would not be found in every Muslim neighborhood. An exceptional building was the Adina Mosque, the Imperial Mosque of Bengal and the largest mosque ever built in the Indian subcontinent. The monumental structure was designed in the hypostyle of early of Islam with a plan similar to the Umayyad Mosque. The style is associated with the introduction of Islam in new areas. Architecture of the Bengal Sultanate <laughs> List of sultans Ilyas Shahi dynasty 1342 House of Raja Ganesha 1414 to 
Topic: <laughs> Restored Ilyas Shahi Dynasty 1435 to 1487. Topic: <laughs> Habshi rule 1487 to 1494. Topic: Hussein Shahi Dynasty, 1494 to 1538. Topic: Governors under Suri rule, 1539 to 1554. Topic: Muhammad Shah Dynasty, 1554 to 1564. Topic: Karani Dynasty, 1564 to 1576. Topic: See also. Bengal Subha List of rulers of Bengal List of medieval great powers <laughs>